Today what we're going to do is make ganache. This is like a fudge, except it pours over the top of a cake or other desserts. So first off, you're going to want to have one cup of heavy whipping cream right here. Um, next, you want to have one tablespoon of unsalted butter. So first, turn on your stove, place uh, your milk or heavy whipping cream in this case into the pan. Then take your butter and place it in as well. And go ahead and melt that butter into your heavy whipping cream. Do not allow your heavy whipping cream uh, mixture to boil. It should only simmer and get warm. Okay, the butter is just about melted, so we're gonna test it in a few minutes. Okay, so if you're looking, you can see that there's bubbles starting to really form around the edges, which means that it's pretty much done. So one more good stir to make sure that there's no cooking of the milk. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our chocolate chips here and we're going to pour this mixture right over the top of them so that the chocolate is underneath the milk. And now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna let that sit covered for five minutes. All right, it has been approximately five minutes since we put the hot uh, cream into this container. And what we're going to do now is start the stirring of it. Clumps will go away and you'll have a nice, smooth um, mixture. Once it's nice and smooth, what you're going to want to do is let it sit for another two to three minutes just so it can thicken up a little bit before you put it on your Boston cream or whatever dessert you decide to use. Now if you feel like it's not smoothing out enough, you can always put it into the microwave for 10 seconds to kind of help uh, melt those last stubborn pieces. Um, however, only do it 10 second intervals, take it out, stir it, just to make sure that you don't actually end up boiling it, because what that'll do is it'll cause this chocolate to just clump up, and then your chocolate is ruined. So you can overcook it easily by going too long in the microwave. There we go. It's got a couple bubbles in it and that's fine. What we'll do is we'll let that sit for, like I said, about two to three minutes so that it can thicken up a little bit. Um, and then you can put it on whatever desserts or eat it just the way it is, whichever you feel like doing. Now, this has been on how to make ganache. Thank you very much and have a great rest of your day.